Hello, good afternoon. This is uh, David Soto talking to you, and today I'm going to show you how to use my Excalibur trend indicator uh, using my signal service, and I'm going to show you how to, you know, how I place a trade, and I'm going to show you uh, the open and closure of this trade. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is a little, di a little bit different than what I've been doing, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to place a trade, and then I'm going to pause the video. Okay, and I'm going to come back. And show you when the trade closes okay so overall this might take a few hours keep in mind okay but I'm going to base everything on a one hour chart okay just for this example okay so in this video I'm going to use a signal I just posted in my telegram signal group for CHF JPY Swiss franc Japanese yen it's a sell okay I have the strike rate the stop loss take profit but I'm not going to use that as an example here I'm just going to show you how I get into a trade. All right. Now, we see here that I'm just using regular Japanese uh, candlesticks, by the way, but we see here we have a red arrow, right? And we had this long, long uptrend. Okay. Now, this signal came in one hour ago. All right. If I refresh this indicator, it's not jumping over to the next candle. Okay. We're now in a new candle indicator has not repainted okay so that means to me this is an excellent time to go ahead and sell okay get into a trade now how far this will drop I don't know the previous level of support was down here so it might drop that far and it might take uh, this was from the 8th of March all the way to 15th 18th of March so that's 10 days that this was an uptrend okay I don't know how long this is going to take to close okay so what I'm what I'm probably going to do here for this video is I'm just going to uh, place a sell trade but then I'm going to jump over to a five minute chart okay and I'm going to wait uh, for the next blue arrow to form which could take a few hours okay it could take five or six hours I don't know exactly but this is what my plan is for today my new strategy with these videos and if you see here there's a blue arrow right down here on this level of support which I could draw a line right here okay and you can hardly see that let me change the color of that horizontal line from yellow to say dark blue or something like stand out a little better so this right here is kind of like my range okay between the support and resistance if we go back up to the one hour we see that right here okay so that is a pretty uh, decent amount of pips that you can gain okay this could easily close for the next you know next few hours okay and that is the goal for at least for me all right I want to be able to place a trade and close it the same day all right if we go to the five minute chart you know I like to trade off of the five minute chart, or even 15 minute chart, but we see what we have a down arrow here, okay? And it's definitely getting ready to go down. So I could go ahead and just place a sell trade and be done, all right? And just wait for this to, uh, you know, drop. And matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just place a sell trade now because I see it starting to go down. Anyhow, this indicator is not repainted, so. I'm going to uh, place a sell trade and just wait. Okay. I'm not going to use any take profit or stop loss. I'm going to come back, you know, every 30 minutes and check on this. Okay. Maybe every even hour, but probably every 30 minutes will be enough. If you go to the 15 minute chart, this is what it looks like. Okay. And that's pretty a pretty good range as well. If you go to a 30 minute chart. You see the same thing basically okay and the one hour chart which I already showed you now the four hour chart is probably not going to show the same thing okay it has not formed a you know solid level of resistance it probably is probably going to go back up to this level where it was before okay before it ever does form a red arrow but that's going to take it's going to take a while okay it might take another week for that to happen in the meantime this is going to retrace down and it's going to probably hover in this range here and then eventually it's going to break out and go back up further all right but 
for now, for today, it's definitely a good time to get in, place a sell trade, and then, um, you know, get a few hundred pips and get out. If you look right here on the crosshairs, if I draw down here, that says 168 pips, all right, or 168 points, either way is correct, but, you know, that's enough, okay? Now, if you're trading, say, a uh, 0.10 lot size, that's $16, right? If you're trading a standard 1.0 lot size, that's $168. But you just keep in mind that your lot size is always dependent on your account balance as well, all right? So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, and then I'm going to come back to you in probably a few more hours and give you an update and show you how I close this trade, okay? So I'll see you in a bell. I see you in a bit. Okay, I come back and I want to show you now um, that this has been about 45 minutes, all right, since I started making this video, and it has just dropped, you know, tremendously, really, in the last 45 minutes. Okay, now I'll probably go ahead and close this trade now because it's, it's well in profit, you know, 135 points in profit right now. So that's not bad, you know. If I go ahead and look at the trade, we see right now, you know, a hundred something, a dollar something profit on a one penny lot. But that's not bad, you know, in a short amount of time. Now I can leave this open, obviously, and you get a lot more pips. If you look at the one hour chart, you know, it's really just now dropping. All right. And if I leave this open for the next day or so, you know, next day or two, it's definitely going to drop. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to hover for a while, drop some more, hover for a while, drop some more, and eventually, you know, work its way down. So it's going to take another 12 to 24 hours for it really works its way down. But it's definitely going into a downtrend, and it's going to be going into a downtrend for the next, you know, day or two. So, anyhow, uh, I just want to show you how to use my new Excalibur trend indicator. Okay, I'm going to make a video every day showing it in action. And I'm going to go ahead and just close this trade while it's in profit. All right, this is only for demo purposes, but show you exactly how this works. Okay, and I'll just close that while it's in profit right now. And that way, you know, you make a little profit here, make a little profit there. And slowly this adds up. Now this is only one trade I'm showing you. And if you look at my signals, okay, you go to my Telegram signals here. I thought you know I posted probably you know at least ten signals already today. So I'm gonna be posting a lot more. So it's pretty good, right? So just follow my signals every day and let me know if any questions about how to trade this indicator, and I'd be more than happy to assist you, okay? So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and just uh, contact me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of this video from my personal Facebook account, okay? You can contact me on there. Also, there's a link from my uh, private Facebook group. You can join my Facebook group if you haven't already and you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group, okay? So please um, just test this out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'd be more than happy to help you, okay? Thank you and have a wonderful day.